In this video, we describe the environmental conditions prior to a brown ring patch epidemic on Poa annua and the diagnostic characteristics of the fungus that cause brown ring patch, Wadia circinata, variety circinata. Brown ring patch is active over a wide range of environmental conditions. We currently set the threat temperature at 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 degrees centigrade. This means that when average temperatures consistently exceed 60 degrees Fahrenheit, there is a potential threat from brown ring patch, if you have a history of the disease at your location. The first symptoms of disease we have seen this year showed up during the last week of April, following a few days of unusually warm weather. This spike in temperature and drop in relative humidity appear to have induced the epidemic. Previous research indicates that brown ring patch is more severe in dry conditions. Let's take a look at the samples collected from the POA approach and see how a diagnosis is conducted. Well, here we are back at the lab. And what I like to do with the samples is to clean them up just a little bit before they're incubated. Uh, if there is dirt on top of the sample, these look pretty good. I'm probably going to give it just a light rinse anyway just to uh, make sure that they're clean, make sure the surface is moist. Uh, using the uh, pressure washer like this just to do a quick rinse off. That'll just uh, wash any uh, soil particles off the top to prevent it from rotting out a little bit too fast. And after that rinse, what I like to do is take a paper towel, double sheet of paper towel, place the paper towels into a shoe box. These are the same shoe boxes that you use for irrigation audits. They have multiple uses. Just wet that paper towel a little bit, make sure there's no extra water in it. That provides the moist chamber for incubating the sample. Just stick the sample in the box, uh, throw the top on, not tightly, just leave, it, leave the uh, lid open a little bit so that it'll have, uh, have plenty of air. That'll be humid enough in there to allow the sample to, uh, to develop. And then uh, in 24 hours, we'll take a look at this sample and see, uh, see what we have. Well, here we are. It's been 24 hours since we collected those samples out in the field. And now we're going to take a look at what we, uh, what we have. And if it's a uh, brown ring patch type organism, we expect to see a lot of mycelium. And we're not quite sure which one it is, but if you can look at the side of this plug, you'll be able to see there's some mycelium just running around the edge of the plug. We'll look at that under a microscope a little bit more closely to see if it matches the right angle branch that we typically, typically see from a rhizoctonia type fungus. Uh, from the top, we can't see a lot of mycelium. Uh, it doesn't appear to be quite as aggressive as we uh, like to see with a, uh, with a brown ring patch, but there's plenty of mycelium down inside these areas also. And we'll look at this a little bit more from the top and we'll be able to see the, the fungus in this ring area. That's after 24 hours incubation at about 72 degrees. The next step will be to take uh, the sample plugs and take a look at them under a dissecting microscope that will give us the ability to select a smaller piece of sample that we'll use under a compound microscope to take a look more closely at the structure of the mycelium and to see if we see any spores that might be indicative of some other fungi. This is what the sample looks like under a dissecting microscope. Now we just collect a little bit of the mycelium and some plant tissue, place it on a microscope slide, and we'll take a look at it under a compound microscope to get a better uh, look at the structure of the mycelium. Okay, what you see here is a microscope slide with a small drop of water, and we're just pushing the uh, little sample we collected off of the forceps into the drop of water. We're using a little needle to uh, make that transfer and spread the uh, mycelium out a little bit so we can see uh, a little bit better the structures of the fungus. Here we are looking at the fungal mycelium under low magnification on the compound microscope. Now we'll switch to high magnification so that we can get a closer look. What we see here is that the mycelium branches at right angles, which is typical of rhizoctonia fungi. Though we can't tell by looking here which of the many rhizoctonia fungi this might be, it could very well be Wadia circinata, or brown ring patch, which is a member of the rhizoctonia group. 
The field symptoms that we looked at earlier are also consistent with the preliminary ID of brown ring patch for this fungus. With this tentative ID in hand, we can now make some management decisions. For example, since we know that thiophanate methyl is not effective against brown ring patch, we would avoid its use. In contrast, products such as flutolanil, which is ProStar, or polyoxin D, which is endorsed, and several others listed on the PACE Turf member website have shown very good curative activity against this fungus.